everybody. It's Cynthia Ford with Visit Winona. Kate Carlson, our partnership director, is working on the comments. And uh, we are Facebook Live from Signatures and the Grill. And uh, also, you can see over there, this is, of course, the Bridges Golf Club. Um, this is a place that, if you have not been in Winona in a while, is a pretty amazing discovery. You sent us here for this week's live look. Um, I have to say, first I'll just let you know that um, there was a poll up this week that also had the uh, Watkins administration building in it. And very sadly, the Watkins uh, corporate family has had a tragedy, and we felt that it was appropriate for them to not be um, having a Facebook Live uh, visit this week. So we are going to put them back in um, in probably uh, a month or so or a few weeks. We'll get them back in the poll. We'll get a look around that incredibly beautiful building, and, and our hearts and thoughts go out to the Watkins family. Um, but so the grill was the other candidate in the poll, and what they've got inside, well, the grill slash signatures slash the Visions Event Center here. I'm going to give you a look at the whole front of this. Sorry about that wind. I hope that doesn't make it hard to hear me. That's the Visions Event Center. That's the door to signatures. And this is the door to the grill. So uh, we are here because inside of this place, they have an amazing memorabilia collection. If you haven't been here, you don't know how incredible this collection is. It is everything from Americana, from like pop culture, from music, from dancers, from um, uh, Woodstock. There's stuff from Woodstock in there. So anyway, we're going to go walk around and take a look. It's pretty quiet out in, in here right now. It's kind of late afternoon on Thursday. So not uh, a lot of people for us to creep on and disturb. We're just going to walk through and take a look. So now listen, in the comments, uh, I want you to give me a shout out. Tell me who are your favorite musicians because I'll tell you what, I took a look, I took a look around through here before I started and uh, I can't think of any musical genre that's not in this in this space. So we're walking in the grill doors. Um, I'm going to show you around the grill in a few minutes because if you have not been in Winona in the last few years, you might not know about the grill. Um, this used to be, for all of you who are old old timers, Winona townies, um, you know this used to be the Winona Country Club, and the Country Club was legendary uh, for. I think maybe since the 1920s, it was here, 1923, 1926, something like that. And uh, 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 maybe 10 or 12 years ago, they made a conversion. It became a semi-public golf course. And it also opened up this clubhouse as a restaurant to the public. And it was a place that people could never go before unless you were a member here or a guest of a member. So it was kind of a fun treat. Um, Here's a first piece of memorabilia that we're just uh, cruising by on our way in. This is a, a signed platter. It's signed by, here look, I'll show you. It's signed by Eric Clapton and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, and it was signed, it looks like it was signed a couple of days. Uh, they were together at a concert and then they signed that platter and a couple of days later Stevie Ray Vaughan died in a helicopter crash. So um, it's kind of a special piece. I'm sure some server felt like that was a, an amazing gift to have from those guys. Here's a Garth Brooks signed baseball. Does Garth Brooks play baseball? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Garth Brooks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that's about. Okay, so this guitar signed by a whole bunch of people and some of them I don't even think play guitar I'm not really sure uh, Chris Christofferson Gary Busey Drew Barrymore uh, Val Kilmer Sly Stone Dallas Taylor uh, Sammy Hagar I'm not sure what all those oh Don Henley he must have been at a benefit or a concert or something like that I don't know um, oh hang on okay all you old all you old 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 fans how about a Bart Starr jersey uh-huh so it makes you wonder right how does somebody find all this stuff you think that you would just have to have somebody looking for it all the time oh wait let me show you something about this place that I think is cool and I've been in this room before it's closed right now 
for a private event of some kind. I think that maybe they're just setting it up. I don't think there's anyone in there. But this is called the private dining room. Um, you know, when they when they turn this place over into a public restaurant, that that over there, where we'll check it out more in a little bit. That used to be the men's lounge of the country club because I don't think there was a women's lounge, but um, the men had a lounge and. It was uh, the times where I was ever in here for some reason. It was filled with like cigar smoke and men and drinks and a bar, and it looked and it looked exactly like it had probably been that way since 1940 or something like that. And so they just absolutely gutted it um, and turned it into a more casual dining space inside this restaurant. But then they kept this dining room right here inside. It's beautiful. It's red carpet, amazing views of the bluffs and the golf course outside. And I've been to a couple of private dinners in there. Um, it doesn't seat a lot of people. Maybe it seats like 12. But if you were going to have a special dinner in Monona, that's a, that's a good spot. Look at this Rolling Stones. Um, let's see. 1964, it's a signed uh, promo album cover by the Rolling Stones. I bet you that's worth a dollar or two. Uh, ooh. Frank Sinatra signed a menu at the Waldorf like to have a look at that menu actually wouldn't you um, so anyway signatures and the grill um, were then followed by uh, the visions event center that place holds about I think around 300 people or so and uh, I'm just gonna I can't show you every single piece in here so we're just gonna walk a little bit while I let you see some of this oh look at this is a John Lennon imagine poster it's that it's been autographed by John Lennon Wow I know a couple of people who would really, really like to have that. Um, Simon and Garfunkel signed contract. Hmm. This is Bob Dylan's signed harmonica, and there's like some kind of very official, how do I get that in there? There we go. There's like a very official um, certification, record of authenticity. I don't know. How maybe, maybe I don't know how I don't know how they got that, but anyway, it's, it's a very formal looking little thing, and it's all uh, displaying a little tiny harmonica that is apparently Bob Dylan's. Um, they have a couple things from Bob Dylan. I, there's something down a little bit farther that I'll show you too. So let's see. This is Buddy Holly's signed yearbook. Wow. This is Elvis Presley's signed yearbook. Okay. Now here's a quiz. I want you to look at these people and see if you can just pick out Elvis Presley by his face. Because I'm going to tell you what, I couldn't. Um, <clears throat> and it's probably because, let's see what year is this, 1953. And in 1953, every boy wore his hair the same way and every girl wore her hair the same way. So all of these pictures, um, more or less, they look like the same person. And so here, I'll give you a look though. It's, this is fun. He's right there. That's Elvis Presley. And he autographed it. He didn't even know he was going to be famous then. Isn't that cool? Um, I've <laughs> people in his class were probably like, what? Did I save that album? <laughs> um, here's Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma ate here. This actually is a signatures menu that was signed by Yo-Yo Ma when he came and played for the Minnesota Beethoven Festival. Uh, look at that. B.B. King's signed guitar. What? Bill Clinton gave up a saxophone? It's signed. This is Bob Dylan's signed guitar. Now, I don't know uh, how long this collection has been going, but I, but I will tell you, oh, Charlie Daniels signed fiddle. Look at this little tiny thing. Devil went down to Georgia and all that. Oh. Princess Diana signed a commemorative plate. You guys, this is so much fun to walk around this place and look. I mean, like, honestly, your food would be getting cold right now. So uh, if you, if you want to come here and look at the um, memorabilia, you better do it before you order or after you're done eating. Um, so here all along this wall are just, it's just stuff like uh, 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 a limited edition standby me manuscript, handwritten, um, Humphrey Bogart signed a letter and sent it to someone. Marlon Brando wrote a fan a letter, and 
that person had the foresight to save it. More signed guitars. This one's from the Beach Boys. Look at this. Um, I think it's a Japanese screen. Um, it says on there that they don't know what the origin of it is, but it's spectacularly beautiful. This is kind of in signatures, um, the, the back bar area. Now, if you've never eaten at signatures, I will tell you that this is for real, for real fine dining. This restaurant has a very hard gourmet twist on its food. The food is exquisite. I've been a couple of times, I think that you have to ask, oh, this is Elvis Presley's shirt smaller than I thought he would be. I thought he would be a bigger guy, but maybe that was later. Um, so I think that you have to make special arrangements to have it. I don't think it's something that's just on the menu, but the chef will do a tasting dinner. So I'm on the, I'm on the patio, the porch rather, um, at Signatures. And it's not open now. Signatures is only open for dinner. I believe seven days a week it's open for dinner. But, uh, oh, they've got Neil Armstrong stuff. That's kind of cool. Here, we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Um, here's a Woodstock guitar. Nice. Mm hmm So, but Signatures is definitely fine dining. One of the things on the menu, um, I mean, one of the things not on the, on the menu that I believe that you can make special arrangements for is called a Chef's Tasting Dinner. And I've come out uh, uh, probably three different chefs over the years and had that dinner and basically you sit down and it's chef's choice and um, and so they bring out food and flights I think it's probably five courses and it comes with wine flights and uh, and it's whatever the chef is um, choosing sometimes they're trying out new things on the menu sometimes they're just you know uh, stroking their creative genius with some things that they wanted to try but maybe didn't put on the menu um, that's Fred Astaire's umbrella by the way that's kind of cool. Um, you know, in case of rain, just break the glass. Just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, I don't know who those people are. I don't know who Pete Best is, you guys. I do know who Ringo Starr is. Um, over here also, Merle Haggard. Hang on. Merle Haggard signed guitar. Um, the Everly Brothers signed a guitar. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that this... Um, oh, I'm just reading the comments right now. Kate Carlson served Yo-Yo Ma when he was in town. Ah, that would, oh, I wish, I wish I could say that was my story. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, this is in signatures, um, kind of the, the dance, the ballroom ish. Not, it's not really a ballroom, but it, I mean, this is where like people dance and stuff like that. In this room, there's a lot of, Look at these celebrity portraits down the wall that have been signed by people. I saw like um, the um, Lucille Ball, Marlon Brando. Who are those guys? Who are these? Guys? Who are these guys again? Hang on a second. Oh my gosh, I'm, there's something wrong with me. These guys. <coughs> Stan Laurel and Alvar Hardy. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy. Oh my gosh. I need to probably go take a nap or something if I can't remember Laurel and Hardy, you guys. Um, over there across the room is a Woodstock uh, drum head signed by a whole bunch of Woodstock people. So here you can see, you know, there's, uh, there's a sweet little dance space. I've been in here on Friday nights and John Paulson and his group is in here playing jazz. Um, it's sweet and I think that uh, I think a lot of people haven't come out here because they just don't think of it, you know, and but if people will drive to La Crosse or drive to Rochester for dinner, holy smokes, you guys, you need to come into Signatures and have something to eat here. <coughs> now, in this other side, this is the grill. I'm going to give you a better look at it. Look at this fireplace. I will, in the wintertime, I will physically fight people to have this table next to the fireplace. Hang on this table yeah there's a couple more on the other side too um but it's so cozy it's so 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 cozy so uh the grill is just like a whole different deal um than the signature side the food is more casual um it's still kind of like farm to table fresh it's got some neat stuff they have i think probably my favorite thing on their 
menu is a, a vegetarian pizza that's out of this world. I'm not even a vegetarian, but I love it so much because it's kind of a Mediterranean tasting pizza. Um, they have a really, really awesome wine list in here. And, uh, and they are open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. <gasps> you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at they brought me. They were telling me that they had food that was new on the menu. I'm going to show you. Hang on. Why does the food look like it's on fire? I might have to do it from this side. You see that? It was just glowing white like it couldn't adjust. That's probably because it tastes so good. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, here. Let's take a look from this side. I don't know. Could you see it? Oh my gosh. So these are, we're going to look. Okay, this is unscripted and unplanned. Um, okay, oh, that's a good look. It's spring rolls. This is something new that's on their menu. They were telling me about it, and I said, oh, that sounds good. And um, so they brought me some and a glass of wine. Hang on, where is it? There it is. Is it too early for wine? I don't think so. Is it, is it ever too early for wine? That's what one of the servers said earlier uh, when I said, oh, I think it's too early for wine. She's like, it's never too early for wine. Um, so I'm just going to look. At, you know, I really am not here to, I'm not here to sell this uh, restaurant, but I am going to tell you that it's one of my favorite places to go and have a meal. Um, like during the happy hour, their rail drinks start at 3 bucks. And uh, they've got a lot of different craft beers and some signature drinks, some really sweet craft cocktails. I, I don't know if they still have it, but they had like a... <laughs> um, Kate would like for me to save her some of these spring rolls, and that's not going to happen. Um, just kidding, I can't eat them all. But anyway, um, their menu changes quite a bit. There's a few staple things, and I think it changes by season also. So... Uh, Give it a try, really. It's one of my favorite places, but also one of my favorite things is this space outside. Can you see it? They have one of the most beautiful gardens. It's too early. Everything is still kind of hunkered down for the winter time. But, um, oh, and over there, can you see here? Wait, let me show you, give you a better look at this. Um, over there is their summer house. And you can rent that and have like little functions in there, baby showers or whatever. Um, I don't know. People have luncheons, I guess, out there. And I think I think probably you know when they have golf events, I think that they do some stuff out there. The the pro shop is down that hallway. Um, but then there's also this kind of patio out here where you can sit and uh, look at the bluffs and look at the flowers. And there's a lot of butterflies. It's pretty awesome. I really like it here. But mostly, I really really was blown away the first time that I saw their memorabilia collection. My understanding is that it belongs to Barb, Bob Ke uh, really Trout. My understanding is that it belongs to Bob Kierlin and Mary Bergter. Um, they are the people who, I'm going to say this incorrectly, um, more or less own this facility or are the major shareholders or um, you know major investors in it. And I believe that that's a personal collection of theirs that they share. And so it grows, it changes from time to time, and, uh, and we see... Um, you know, new things pop up on the walls. You got to come see it for yourself sometime. Uh, so that's it for this week. Every week we go wherever you tell us to go. Uh, I think that there's nowhere we won't go. We went to the top of Shack for me, you guys, because uh, I am terrified of heights. Um, also, I climbed the ice wall because you asked me to. Um, but we've also been inside of a lot of old buildings. We've been um, up and down the main street of Winona looking at Christmas decorations. We've gone to the library. We've gone inside um, a couple coffee shops. I, I don't know. I, I mean, the list of places left for us to go, though, is so incredibly long that I just, every week, I kind of wonder where we're going to go next time. Um, I'm really so excited that it's getting warmer because that just makes, you know, it triples our list of places to go, um, different paths and parks and and uh, outdoor spaces that we love. So tell me, what do you love? What do you want to get a live look at? And um, we will put it in a poll on Monday, and then you get to vote on it all week. And uh, wherever wins is where we're gonna go. So let me know where should we go next week. And I will see you from there.
Have a great weekend, everybody. It's going to be beautiful outside. We'll see you then. Oh, one more thing also. <clears throat> please, please, please um, vote for your choices for Tourism Rockstar, People's Choice Award, and the um, Hidden Gem Awards for the Visit Winona Tourism Awards is going on right now. Okay. See you all later. Bye.